In the cold front, a mass of cold air overtakes a mass of warm air. The cold air, being denser, stays on the surface and undercuts the warm air. The approach of a cold front is accompanied by a decrease in pressure. A sharp fall in temperature, a rise in pressure, and rapid clearing usually occur with the passage of the cold front. Surface wind direction will always veer as the front passes. Gustiness may be associated with wind shift. Visibility usually improves after passage of a cold front. Cold fronts are not all the same. The weather associated with the cold front may vary from a minor wind shift to severe thunderstorms, restricted visibility, and violent gusty winds. The severity of the weather is determined by the moisture content and stability of the warm air mass. That the cold air mass is undercutting and the speed of the advancing cold front. A long line of cumulus clouds of western horizon is usually an indication of an approaching cold front. Fast-moving cold fronts may travel with a speed of 30 knots or more. If the warm air is very moist and unstable, it may lead to towering cumulus clouds, long line of squalls, and thunderstorms. Heavy rain and hail may be associated with the front. The squall is also accompanied by a sudden wind change from southerly or southwesterly to north or northwesterly. Together with a sudden drop in temperature and a rise in barometric pressure. The actual wind squall lasts only for a few minutes, but is often extremely violent, constituting a serious menace to shipping. A slower moving cold front advancing are non-stable and dry air in the warm sector will produce less severe weather conditions. Stratus or alto cumulus clouds with light or no precipitation. If the warm air is stable, these clouds will be stratiform. If the warm air is unstable, they are cumuliform and possibly thunderstorms.